Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. 601 people suddenly arrested after Sessions drops big announcement making them all criminals. 601 people were arrested as part of a major sweep and Jeff Sessions had the pleasure of announcing it. If they're all convicted, then that makes it quite an impressive shakedown that makes them all criminals. Of course, they all have to be found guilty and are presumed to be innocent until found guilty, but this was a huge bust that found hundreds of people wishing they were not associated with it. With the opioid crisis still in full swing with researchers recently reporting an additional 70,000 opioid-related deaths not added to official statistics over the past 20 years, the Department of Justice made the announcement the conclusion of a year-long crackdown on opioid overprescribers led to the indictment of more than 600 people. Of those indicted on health care fraud charges, 76 were doctors and 165 nurses and other licensed medical professionals were arrested and charged with crimes resulting in more than $2 billion in losses for Medicare, Medicaid, and TRICARE, as well as private insurers. The DOJ is calling this the largest health care fraud enforcement action in Department of Justice history and it resulted in 84 opioid cases involving more than 13 million illegal doses of opioids. The nationwide schemes involved billing Medicare, Medicaid, and private insurance companies for medically unnecessary prescription drugs and other medications that were sometimes never purchased or distributed. The DOJ stated in part in a press release. These charges are part of the largest ever health care fraud enforcement action by the Medicare Fraud Strike Force, involving 601 charged defendants across 58 federal districts, including 165 doctors, nurses and other licensed medical professionals for their alleged participation in health care fraud schemes involving more than $2 billion in false billings. Of those charged, 162 defendants, including 76 doctors, were charged for their roles in prescribing and distributing opioids and other dangerous narcotics. 30 state Medicaid fraud control units also participated in today's arrests. In addition, HHS announced today that from July 2017 to the present, it has excluded 2,700 individuals from participation in Medicare, Medicaid, and all other federal health care programs, which includes 587 providers excluded for conduct related to opioid diversion and abuse. The charges announced today aggressively target schemes billing Medicare, Medicaid, TRICARE, and private insurance companies for medically unnecessary prescription drugs and compounded medications that often were never even purchased and or distributed to beneficiaries. The charges also involve individuals contributing to the opioid epidemic, including medical professionals involved in the unlawful distribution of opioids and other prescription narcotics, a particular focus for the department. Attorney General Jeff Sessions spoke of the significant undertaking by the DOJ, accusing the fraudsters of siphoning off U.S. tax dollars and wasting money that was earmarked for military health care. Of note, one doctor, in particular, was charged with defrauding Medicare of more than $112 million by distributing 2.2 million unnecessary doses of opioids. Sixteen of the doctors swept up in the takedown were responsible for circulating more than 20.3 million pills illegally. Sessions stated, Health care fraud is a betrayal of vulnerable patients, and often it is theft from the taxpayer. In many cases, doctors, nurses, and pharmacists take advantage of people suffering from drug addiction in order to line their pockets. These are despicable crimes. That's why this Department of Justice has taken historic new steps to go after fraudsters, including hiring more prosecutors and leveraging the power of data analytics. Today the Department of Justice is announcing the largest health care fraud enforcement action in American history. This is the most fraud, the most defendants, and the most doctors ever charged in a single operation, and we have evidence that our ongoing work has stopped or prevented billions of dollars worth of fraud. I want to thank our fabulous partners with the FBI, DEA, our health care fraud task forces, HHS, the Defense Criminal Investigative Service, IRS Criminal Investigation, Medicare, and especially the more than 1,000 federal, state, local, and tribal law enforcement officers from across America who made this possible. By every measure, we are more effective at finding and prosecuting medical fraud than ever. According to documents filed with the courts, Defendants are accused of participating in schemes to submit claims to Medicare, Medicaid, TRICARE, and private insurance companies for treatments that were medically unnecessary and often never provided. In many cases, patient recruiters, beneficiaries, and other co-conspirators were allegedly paid cash kickbacks in return for supplying beneficiary information to providers, so that the providers could then submit fraudulent bills to Medicare for services that were medically unnecessary or never performed. Collectively, 
the doctors, nurses, licensed medical professionals, healthcare company owners and others charged are accused of submitting a total of over $2 billion in fraudulent billings. The number of medical professionals charged is particularly significant because virtually every healthcare fraud scheme requires a corrupt medical professional to be involved in order for Medicare or Medicaid to pay the fraudulent claims. Aggressively pursuing corrupt medical professionals not only has a deterrent effect on other medical professionals but also ensures that their licenses can no longer be used to bilk the system. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, some 42,000 people died from opioid overdoses in the U.S. in 2016 alone, with more than 64,000 Americans dying in total stemming from drug overdoses as a whole in 2016. It is likely that total deaths climbed in 2017, possibly past the 70,000 mark. As a result of this epidemic, life expectancy in the United States has fallen for the second straight year in 2017. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.